Hello everyone, welcome to Grand Chat. We are back again with very interesting topic, how hot spots start and what to do with them. And here we are, Joe Sontag and Huang Yin from Sontag Concern. We welcome again the storage expert from Frigotech in Germany, Dr. Klaus Braunbeck. Dear Dr. Klaus, is it a common observation at brain stories that hotspots are detected by temperature monitoring system? However, many customers that I speak to are unsure as how hotspots start and what to deal with them. Thank you for being here. Moist and wet grains develop this kind of issue. Often is combined with neglecting the post-harvest management in one or the other way. But it is also common for grains with a wide range of kernels varying of the size, moisture content and ripening stage. Important is to detect the hotspot as early as possible by a proper temperature monitoring system. What is your advice to fight the hot spots? First of all, avoid high moisture content and keep the moisture content as homogeneous as possible. Then use at least a ration in a sufficient way at proper ambient condition as recommended. However, if temperature keeps rising, don't stop a ration even at unfavorable weather condition. What else may bring the solution? The industry is using its standard technologies, which are available. And one which could help is the conveying system. Professionals will start to circulate the grain. Thereby the grain will be mixed and heat of the hotspot will be released or transferred. And what is to consider if the grain will be circulated? Important is to convey the grain to another location, meaning to another empty storage. Pure circulation in the same silo won't help as the grain will not mix sufficiently. In addition, that zones along the silo wall won't get moved at all. So that sounds easy to perform, but that requires additional space, right? Not only that. But moving grain will cost energy, personal attendance, and last but not least, it will cause grain loss. How could it happen? The moving of the grain causes friction, and it will come to a certain grinding and sometimes even to breakage. Thereby, the kind of grain as well as the conveying equipment are deciding how high the loss will be. From my personal point, it looks like an emergency solution, but not really a professional approach. Is there another way? You are right. Precaution is always best. Therefore, my statement at the beginning. However, the hot spot is, if the hotspot is there, a grain cooler would help as well. It will reduce the heat release at its base by minimizing the respiration activity of the grain at any weather condition. Best is of course to use it right during the loading of the grain in order to minimize the variation of the moisture content and to prevent the start of respiration heat. By the way, how critical is a hot spot at this story? Thank you that you come to this very important question. Indeed, it is the most dangerous situation at a grain storage. It must never be underestimated as the grain's temperature can easily reach ignition point and cause fire. If the heat is not released from the stock, an escalation to a fire will bring a total loss of grain and damage the facility. No fire guard will extinguish the fire but only control the, in order to minimize the damage. Good to know and much to consider to take precaution when it comes to grain management. It was another enlightening talk. Thank you for sharing, Dr. Klaus. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you for the time. Thank you for the grain chat.
Dear audience, please feel free to contact us if you'd like to address another topic of interest or send us your comment about today's chat. Thank you.